Watch out blue, kid. You and me'll cut out. Go play catch. I always said I wasn't gonna do it. I also said I would never say never. If you're a fan of The Sopranos, you're gonna love the film. This is the beginning of Tony Soprano's journey. Tony's a bad person because all this really bad stuff happened to him, and I got really inspired by that and telling that story. The movie is a prequel to The Sopranos. It's a movie for people who know and love these characters, but also for people who are experiencing these characters for the first time. You get to meet the young Livia Soprano. It doesn't get any better than Nancy Marchand. She is the best. Well, what Vera really is great at and is focused on was getting Nancy's accent. I'm not some lunatic. I watched her performance over and over, looking for mannerisms, physicality, the way she moved through space, expressions, gestures, and listened to intonations and accent. Heavy is the Olivia crown on my head. Get inside, both of you! Corey had to come in and find the young man version of Junior. All of Junior's flaws are there. He's petty, he's pissy. Is a guy who never got the respect that he felt he deserved. When my brother's away, everything goes through me. You got diarrhea. <sighs> Silvio Dante is a great one because John Magaro just nailed it right out of the gate. Truck's not gonna unload itself. There's a very specific physicality to Silvio that's the beginning of Sil's iconic hairdo. Billy, who plays Polly, got to take on all the mannerisms and all the over-the-top wardrobes the white jumpsuits and things like that that Polly would have been wearing in the 60s and 70s. Polly. This is the young version of them and how they became that Sopranos family. And then and we found Samson, and he just nailed pussy. I think the hardest part is just nailing down the way he says things and bringing him to life. I didn't catch the name. Pussy. <laughs> The actors who are taking on those roles have just struck the perfect balance between finding the voice and behavior that is recognizable. There's so much source material to look at. You can't ignore that. You have to bring some essence of that character. And so finding that essence and paying homage to the performances that came before, and yet not just doing an impression. Ah, go on. I'm most excited for the fans to see the characters that they know from the show. Billy playing Pauly and John playing Syl, and people are gonna flip when they see Mikey and Corey. I just think that that's gonna be really, really exciting for people. And there are a few of these locations that are being brought back for the movie that will obviously mean a lot to audiences who know the show. I'm here too, Mr. Handsome. Looking like a million dollars.